So I uh, bought an Amazon Echo, um, and it came in the mail uh, yesterday. And if you uh, haven't seen this, I'm sure you've heard about it by now, but if you haven't, it's like a uh, voice-activated, um, really it's an interface for a lot of different services, but uh, it's like a personal assistant. Uh, the, the girl, the persona's name is uh, Alexa. Her name's Alexa, and she's a... Uh, a lot like Siri or OK Google or uh, any of those services, but very, very, very powerful. Um, much more accurate, and uh, uh, I, I like OK Google, like the Google Now services, a lot better as far as uh, accuracy of information and how much you can ask it. But uh, the way that Alexa exists in your living space and the way you interact with it is so natural and so organic and uh, really cool. So. I uh, was excited to get this, excited to do some uh, home automation projects with it. You can see all the stuff that it uh, naturally, like uh, the, you know, commercially supports Hue and Wemo and stuff like that. Uh, but I, of course, I wanted to integrate it with my home automation network um, and devices. So I uh, made a, an Alexa skill. It's really cool about this. You can uh, host uh, skills in Amazon Lambda or uh, your own endpoint, but it's easiest to just run it as a Lambda. Uh, method and you can write them in Java or Node.js. I'm a Java developer, so I prefer that. And uh, it, it's it's really fascinating how this works. That was one of the other reasons I really wanted to get into it is because I, I really like the service and uh, the, the cloud processing aspect and how this all interacts is really interesting to me. So it's really really cool. You start off with uh, with with intents um, that are associated with different methods. Uh, methods. So you have uh, utterances that uh, the service is expected to recognize. And I, I named my Alexa skill is what it's called. It's called an Alexa skill that you can add. Uh, I named my Alexa skill Erica. So it's like Erica is my personal home automation controller. And uh, Alexa has to ask Erica to do stuff, basically. So that's kind of the, the command is Alexa, ask Erica to. And then you use these utterances. Um, and uh, in my case right now, the only ones I've implemented so far are living room light, and then uh, I have a fun intent. That's called the lighting intent, and uh, it'll do all the lighting around the house. I just have to write the methods for it. And then uh, one I'm going to call fun intent, which right now I just have, this was kind of like my hello world thing, is it just reads back the name of our dogs that I pre-programmed in. But uh, if you, I have all kinds of stuff I want to add there, um, just different jokes and things you can make or say or whatever. I don't know, but. Those are the two intents I've done so far. So you, you make an intent with a sample utterance that the it's the voice that the service is expecting to hear. What's really cool is like uh, you can see this one's what are our dogs named. Um, if I say what is the name of our dogs or um, what are my dogs named, what are the dogs names, anything like that, this will pick it up and this will run this intent. It's really, really impressive, really natural language recognition. I, I'm so impressed with that aspect of it so far. Uh, same here, you know, turn the living room light on, uh, turn on the living room light, either of those is fine. It's really cool. So you have the intent, and then you have a JSON formatted uh, intent schema that defines those intents. And then um, you have a speechlet, and the uh, speechlet is how it handles. You have a, a stream handler, and then you have a speechlet uh, that replies uh, with your, it has all your logic. So you can see here's an example, uh, the one that it says our dog's names. Uh, it, you give the speech text. Uh, you create the card, which is going to go uh, in the uh, Alexa app. There's a companion app uh, that Alexa uses that goes on your phone that she can give you information, and, and that's where you, she stores your shopping list, all those different features like that. So the card shows up when you make a voice command. So this is just going to add a really basic card. It's probably not even necessary. It's kind of, like I said, like a Hello World thing, but adds the card and then uh, returns the card and the speech. Um, in the case of the lighting, um, what I'm doing here is uh, same thing, actually lighting the card, whatever. But in this instance, I'm making a, a HTTP recall against my home automation web service. And um, I took out the URL because it's got my, my information in it. But uh, it makes the HTTP call against my web service from Amazon's Lambda server and actuates my home automation web service through a uh, web exposed interface that I wrote, uh, which, you know, it's the same stuff that's in my other videos. And then it replies with the, uh, with the response. So I'll show you a little demo, uh, but it's just a preview because I wanted to, uh, just give you a really brief introduction to some of the projects I'm going to be doing with this, uh, with this echo and, uh, show why I'm so excited about it. All right. So it's a little dark here because I'm going to do a, uh, a demo. 
demo, but here's my uh, lighting controller, the same lighting controller that's in the other videos on my channel. It does uh, lighting and uh, electrical outlets um, with a store-bought uh, relay controller, RF relay controller, and a uh, ESP8266. Like I said, there's a video of that on my channel. Um, and then here's my new uh, Amazon Echo, and I just uh, I put this stuff on a stool so I could get it all in the same shot. Um, but let's uh, let's try it out. Alexa, ask Erica to turn on the living room light. Okay. Pretty sweet. So, uh, yeah, all of my uh, projects for my home automation uh, project, all my little projects, all the little clients I've made and hardware stuff I've done is compatible with my web service and uses my web service that this uh, Echo is uh, controlling. So everything I've made so far can be controlled by this. I just got to write the code and and uh, it's pretty easy. I'm pretty excited about this platform. I think it's super flexible um, and it's very easy to uh, to control a lot of stuff with a really powerful kind of uh, personal assistant Jarvis type uh, cool, cool device. So keep an eye out for some more uh, Echo projects. Alexa, ask Erica to turn off the living room light. Okay. 